How you doing everybody? We are here in Belgium. This is vlog number three of the week. It's been a very interesting first day of training. Um, this morning we actually met, um, or I took Dean down to uh, the draw for half past seven this morning and that actually gave us the allocated boxes. So that basically tells us it's like a matrix that tells you which days, which teams are going to be training in which boxes. That's for the full five days, Monday through to Friday. Um, we were up at five o'clock this morning um, and then we were sorting the bait out from six o'clock, just kind of bagging all the bait up, sorting out the bait measures. One of the things that a lot of people probably don't um, understand about international fishing is that you are only allowed a certain amount of bait. And in some cases you are only allowed a certain amount of bait of a certain type of bait. So that's the kind of thing that we like to, wherever we can, take away, uh, take out the out of the equation for the lads that are actually fishing. That is where myself and, and, and the other lads are there, just to kind of take that away from them, sort them, make sure obviously the bait is good quality, get it bagged up, get it into the bait measures so that the lads can just purely think about their fishing. And that's the first, that was the first job of today. Um, so we were doing that from six o'clock this morning and then at seven o'clock I drove down with Dean down for the draw and that's where we actually know which boxes we're going to be in for the rest of the week. Now when we got here this morning or when we arrived on the bank it was, well we knew, actually knew back at the digs because we're not staying that far away. It was very very apparent that the temperature had really dropped overnight. When I got in the van I think the temperature gauge, temperature gauge said about seven degrees but it was obvious that it had been much colder than that overnight and when we arrived here this morning it looked like there'd been a frost. There hadn't been a frost, but it was very, very close to a frost. All the grass was wet through, it was literally white over. So obviously we, we expected that to have a bit of an impact. Now the first hour or two, we were dressed as though it was, it was winter. We all had our top, top, um, top jackets on, hoods up and everything, it was really cold. There is a bit of a breeze blowing now, but it was a freezing cold wind this morning. But what's happened, certainly after the next probably two or three hours, gradually some of the cloud has broken and the sun has broken through. So for the last hour and a half, everyone's been in the t-shirts and it's been red hot. As you can imagine, we're thinking things like that is gonna have an impact on the fishing. Obviously going from really cold temperatures to bright blue skies, we think that's gonna be having an impact on the fishing this week. So we're just going into the last 30 minutes of this session. I'm actually, that there, the anglers that you can see just there, that is South Africa, that's the South African team. And we are working our way down here, down to E sector. Now this is the sector that I've kind of chosen to do this upload for you from, because this is the sector that, um, as we said, spoke about in previous videos and previous vlogs, that this is the sector that was gonna be a bit of a mystery. Purely because nobody had fished it. The, none of the matches that have been here recently um, have been using these pegs. So, you know, all the matches that have taken place None of these pegs have been used, so there hasn't been any bait going in. There was also a big weed problem, but the weed problem applied to elsewhere on this lake. However, the organizers here have put in a huge effort to clear the weed, and this was the last section to be actually cleared of weed. So again, we thought that was gonna be a bit of a, a bit of a factor that could have an impact in not only the fishing, but in the way that you would be fishing, because even in, whether you're getting bites or not, if there's weed there, then obviously that's going to have an impact on your fishing. You know, it can cause you lots and lots of problems. And so until all these anglers got down here today, we didn't really know what the weed situation was going to be. And we didn't know if they were going to be catching many fish. And as it turns out, this end of E section hasn't been very good at all. It's been very, very hard. However, at the far end, that's where the England have been. We drew this box today. We didn't want to be here today. And that's purely because we know that no, you know, there hasn't been any bait going in. So if we were going to draw here this week at some stage, we wanted it to be later on in the week when some bait had gone in, when it may have given us a little bit more of an accurate reading as to how good or bad it's going to fish. Whereas this morning we've turned up here and it's just, obviously um, there hasn't been any feed going in there. So, you know, it wasn't the draw we wanted, but obviously the lads are, have been down at that bottom end today. They will be updating you on how it's fished. From what I've heard, they have caught a few fish today. It hasn't been brilliant. And the reason why I'm saying I haven't heard, and that is because my job today has been to be behind box number 22, which is just where my finger is. And that's because the team that have practiced in box 22 is Belgium, that is the, the, the home nation. And so obviously if anyone's gonna know this venue, we would expect it to be that team. So I have literally been there from before the start, I was there for the pre-baiting period, and then I've been there for throughout the duration of the match, and it has fished hard. But obviously it's given myself, which I can obviously relay back to the team, 
an idea of how they've actually approached it and what's actually happened. But like I say, as predicted, this E sector hasn't been very good, you know, and you know, the, the, the big question now is leading into tomorrow and, and Wednesday and Thursday is now some bait's gone in, is it going to improve? Is it going to draw fish into this area? You know, and that is, it's a big talking point from, from uh, the teams and nations all around the lake today. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this, particularly this sector, sector performs tomorrow now that it's been fished. So it's been a very interesting first day. I think, well, I know as soon as the, um, the session's over at three o'clock, we are going to have a meeting on the bank. We will then be um, just going through the bait, heading back to the digs to sort the bait out, get, make sure that's ready for tomorrow or prepare it the best we can for tomorrow. And then we will be heading off for something to eat where we'll probably end up having a bit of a meeting as well whilst we're actually eating as well. So we're very much in full flow now. We are all learning about this venue. We have heard that there have been some bream caught in certain areas, but as with lots of venues like this, it's something we've talked about before. When you've got venues where there are big bays, there are narrow areas over there, as you can see, there's been quite a few boats going through there. There's been some deeper areas. As you can, it's always what happens on these venues. There are some deeper areas. Some of those deeper areas have fished better than the shallower areas. However, the shallower areas have produced some different species. You know, there have been lots of asp caught, lots of roach, some perch. There have actually been some skimmers caught as well, but there have inevitably been some bream caught as well. And from now, today has been the day when bait has gone in on pretty much every peg that's going to be used in the championship. This is when we're now going to be monitoring it, just trying to see how, if things are going to change in any sort of way or not, now that some bait's gone in. So we've almost finished for today. We've now got to resume what we were doing, start getting the bait ready for tomorrow. And hopefully the lads are quietly confident on what they've caught. We're off to a completely different box tomorrow completely different area so that will be a different view different scenery different depths and that is an area that has been fished in recent matches and it wasn't fished only a couple of days ago in the recent match so we're expecting things to uh, to start um, helping us build up a picture about the way that the venue is going and obviously as that happens that's when we start to try and develop some sort of a plan so we're very much in a routine now I've got to say a massive thank you to everybody for all the great messages, all the great best wishes and everything. And, and as always, if you want us to keep producing these, please give this one a thumbs up if you appreciate the updates. And I will definitely check in with you tomorrow where I will be letting you know how it's gone on day two of training week.